Hello guys, this is your mid-month reading for the 15th through the 30th of the month. Taking you guys on into December. We are moving so fast towards the end of the year. Phew. Alright, let's see what's going on with you guys here. I have Romance Angels cards here to take a look at um, after your reading. See if we get an added message there, okay? energy that's around my Leo's it's the Empress hmm. gaining your confidence I feel like you guys are working very hard not only on um, yourselves and your your inside and your outside appearances but there's something that I feel like you guys are striving towards um, I feel like there's something that you are currently trying to build and grow with someone um, I feel like there's a lot of uh, uh, single parents here and a lot of you guys have a lot of responsibilities a lot of things that you're thinking about taking into account as you're moving towards something here <clears throat> let's see what's crossing you guys this is Tar Taurus, Libra, and Aries energy and then we have oh, the Ace of Cups Okay, let's cross on you. Um, I feel like this is extending yourselves. This is actually taking the time to heal and not just try to build on, um, you know, just other things around you, relationships. Uh, I feel like this is like healing here. Because I'm getting the sense that uh, some of you are really trying to push past some, some sort of hurt and um just wanting to like steamroll ahead let's see cancer scorpio pisces energy here hmm you know i'm feeling like this is more about allowing yourself to feel uh love because i think that you're concentrating so heavily on something else here See what the underlying issue is here. See if we can get some more information. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I think that you guys are actually like really throwing yourselves into work, into building something um, material for yourselves, and you're not really allowing yourselves to feel. Um, whatever whatever hurt whatever healing that you need to go through it's like you're hiding behind uh your work hiding behind like you know the very mundane things very material things in life that at the end of the day you know you can't take it with you and i feel like this is where you know this empress energy is coming from is is really trying to build a true legacy for yourselves and it's like putting your love life or putting your feelings on the back burner okay Virgo energy there Let's see in the recent past what was going on for you guys the world Taurus Scorpio Leo Aquarius energy here the world is all about cycles it's about um, uh, having learned very very hard lessons very important lessons but hard nonetheless okay and so I feel like you know you guys have started over but in starting over I don't feel like you've gone back to anyone I feel like you're starting over by yourselves okay and you're focused on something totally different than love but I think that you want to be open to it because there is an interest here I, I think you're just not allowing yourself to explore it or really like get involved in the emotional aspect of um, of life you know and having success in that area I think you're focused more on like uh, you know having that house you know having that job having enough money traveling and doing all of these other things and not establishing an emotional connection here 
<clears throat> or either this is somebody feeling this way about you guys okay so keep in mind this energy is energy and either this could be coming from you or it could be coming from somebody else that is very close to you let's see what your crowning thoughts are here crowning thoughts for leo knight of pentacles this is all about money for you guys i feel here um planning and making sure that the steps that you're taking that you don't go backwards i feel i feel like you're looking at the past and you're kind of like um you know picking apart certain things that have happened because it's you're not trying to do that shit again okay wherever you feel like you failed at before you're not trying to repeat that shit again taurus energy there what's coming in for leos oh my gosh king of pentacles I mean, you guys are doing the damn things. <laughs> things. The damn thing. Um, now you have a King of Pentacles. Huh. You have all of this earth energy, like, right here. Um, this could definitely be a person for you. But I feel like you're... Look, if, if this is a person... I feel like this is somebody that you feel is going to benefit you. Okay. Somebody that has the... They, they have what you're looking for in a person. Stability. Um, financial prowess. Financial stability. You know, they have those things. And, and not necessarily the emotional aspect that really kind of holds a relationship together. Um, a lot of earth in your reading Taurus I feel Virgo Capricorn possibly but you know Taurus Virgo is here and um, <clears throat> yeah I think you have somebody coming in that's wanting to basically take care of you they see you guys they have an affinity for you um, they find you attractive and they feel like you guys also have what they need. Okay. How is Leo viewing this situation? How is Leo viewing this situation? Hmm. Confidently. Very confidently. I feel like you're pleased with whatever is transpiring. How your life is progressing at this point. I do feel that you guys are allowing yourselves to be involved in a situation where you're actually um, benefiting in some material way. And if that suits you, that suits you. If you're happy with that, I mean, hey, <laughs> so be it. You know, who am I to say that it's wrong if that's what floats your boat? But at the end of the day, what's challenging you? What's crossing you is Ace of Cups to find love. Okay, so keep that in mind. <clears throat> Influence here for Leos. Oh my God, the Six of Pentacles. <laughs> the Six of Pentacles. Somebody who you can build with. Somebody who you can share with. Um, maybe some of you guys feel like, you know, in order to... Let's do an exchange. It's almost like what you're saying. I give you my time and you give me something in return. Stability, support, security. You know, financial support. And that is what you're looking for. You're looking for somebody that wants to spend time with you, that's actually eager to spend time with you and give you everything that you need. Again, Taurus energy. Hopes or fears for Leo. Oh, okay. Seven of Wands here. And the Six of Cups. I feel that It's like you, I feel like you guys are afraid of falling in love again, to be honest with you. 
I think you're afraid. I think you're you're blocking um, that type of energy where where you feel like this person really um, could have an effect on you emotionally. I feel like you don't want to explore those feelings. You don't want to be vulnerable. I think you're blocking memories of someone here from the past. You want to get it out your head. Seven of Wands, is, of course, is Leo energy and the Six of Cups is Scorpio. Um, you, you're blocking. You, you want to like not even think about the fact that there's somebody out there for you or you've already met that person that's, that's for you. And I feel like you know, you're afraid you're afraid to embrace that that this could be somebody that is your soulmate that your soulmate is out there hmm so for some of you I'm feeling like there's somebody that you're meeting that's an earth energy but there's somebody who I feel like you know hurt you guys before disappointed you and you're kind of blocking out memories of them. You don't want to be vulnerable with this person. Uh, could definitely be a Scorpio energy. Could also be Aries, I feel. Scorpio Aries is Mars energy. Um, but this is somebody who you share. Um, you've shared some memories with. You've spent some time with. And um, yeah, you're not trying to allow them to affect your ultimate goal and that's to achieve some kind of um, recognition, some kind of stature here, okay? Could be Cancer, Scorpio as well. What is the overall here for Leos? Overall for Leos. Four of Wands, Aries energy. Four of Wands, being happy, being stable. Yeah, I think this is like moving into a new home. For some of you, you're moving into a new home with your um, with your kid. Uh, this could be a same-sex relationship as well. Hmm. Because I really don't think that you guys are dating or seeing somebody um, that you're truly in love with or have like you know very strong deep feelings for I think there was somebody that you still have very strong deep feelings for but you're trying to block that out you don't even want to think about that okay so let's see what we have for you from the romance angels True love. <laughs> this is the romance of a lifetime. Hmm. There's somebody here. That's your soulmate. And then let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Whatever that means for you guys. I think you're having a hard time here because, you know, for the Six of Cups to come up, there are memories here that you cannot get past, even though you try your hardest to block it out and try to forget about it and trying to move on and actually do things that you uh, feel are logical and reasonable that are safe for you. I feel like there's an earth energy here that's coming in for you guys, if not if they're not already here, um, that you feel safe getting involved with. Okay, guys? So that's what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.